Oklahoma has become no stranger to earthquakes. The shaking often catches many of us off guard. But what if you could be warned ahead of time before the next tremor strikes? News 4's Taylor Mitchell has new details on an earthquake alert system now in the works. Taylor? That's right, Heather. The system is still in the early stages, but would alert you before the ground shakes. The Oklahoma Geological Survey is working with partners as far as away as Israel to get the ball rolling. So we maintain a seismic network and we stream that directly online where anybody can access in the public. Nicholas Heyman with the Oklahoma Geological Survey says the new early warning technology developed by Tel Aviv based seismic AI would be added to the detection system already in place across Oklahoma. By having a network that lets you feel understand the earthquakes that are being felt, then the industry can better adjust and make strategies. When an earthquake happens, there are two waves. This is what we see first, the P wave. This is what we see second, the S wave. The secondary wave is what you feel. This new system would alert Oklahomans to the initial primary wave before the second one arrives. Since peaking in 2015, the Oklahoma Corporation Commission says the number of earthquakes in Oklahoma has dropped by 96 percent. Most of those have been connected to fracking. The seismicity in Oklahoma is down because of this remarkable joint effort that was put in place years ago and putting in measures to try to reduce the chances of, of an induced seismicity event. Skinner says any new technology would continue to move Oklahoma in the right direction. We're constantly uh, going to new technologies, new techniques. We've already changed some of our protocols multiple times as we learn more and more. So while we certainly have made considerable progress, uh, we, we're, not, we're not there yet. Well, the team is still working out how they'll get alerts out to you and me, but the Oklahoma Geological Survey hopes to implement the technology by the end of this year. Back that would be nice. Thank you, Taylor.